Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to FitFM Fitness Living Room Sessions. My name is Felipe. Uh, today's class is Pilates. All right, guys, um, we're gonna go down to the floor straight away. Let's face one way, other edge of the mat. And feet hip width apart, legs bent. Now we're gonna start with the back. Hands behind the thighs. And we're gonna roll the shoulders back and down, long neck, long spine. Breathe deeply. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Pull yourselves into that upright position as upright as possible. Use those arms to pull yourselves into the vertical position. There you go, shoulders back and down. Oh, we have a nice long neck. Inhale, on the exhalation where you're gonna round the back and lower the shoulders, exhale. Shoulders towards the hips. Inhale up. Exhale. Look to the belly. Inhale, extend. Shoulders are going down, not back, all right? So we're not rolling back. We're going straight down. Shoulders straight. Vertical movement towards the hips. And inhale. A couple more times. Round the back as much as possible. Lengthen your spine as much as possible. Last. And come. Now, this time we're gonna roll down and also back. We're gonna go halfway. The lower back is gonna go against the mat and rest there. With or without the hands. You can use the hands if you're a beginner and your your core is not still strong. And exhale, going up. If you have a stronger core, you can extend your arms in front of you and round back slightly. Go down, inhale here, exhale to the top. This is the opposite. Breathing, inhale, rounding, exhale. Let's do a few more. Shoulder back and down. If you need, you can use the help of your elbow or your hand here to come up. Let's do one more. Stay back, back and hold. Hold around the back, mid and upper back of the floor. So we're gonna inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands towards the knees. Inhale. Exhale, inhale through the nose, through the mouth, exhale. A couple more times, shoulders still off the floor, overhead and hold, stay there and hold, palms together, palms together, now turn to one side, come back to center, turn, shoulders to the other side, and back, always towards the ceiling, up, down, and up, a couple more times each side. And up, reaching up. And one more time each side. And last one. Overhead, overhead. And exhale. Inhale, go up. And rest. That's warm up for the abdominals. Hopefully you're feeling it that already. Let's go down all the way down this time. Flat back on the mat. All right. Now we're gonna keep the hips very steady, stabilize the hip bones. Imagine they go. You're keep keeping your hip bones together. So we activate the muscles between the hip bones. Nice and strong lower abs. Inhale, extend one leg. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale and exhale. We're going slightly faster today. More into the core workout. 
rather than going too much into uh, warm-up, balance, flexibility or mobility at the beginning, which I really like, but we have the opportunity to do that on the stretching sessions, stretching for all sessions, and also on the move it sessions. So, is a great, <laughs> this is a great opportunity to focus on those core muscles. And one more time, each leg. Exhale, bring it back. And last one, extend. Exhale, bring it back. Now, we're gonna come to tabletop. Tabletop, one leg, bring your belly in, flatten the lower back. Imprint the spine, shoulders back and down. All the leg comes to the tabletop. 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle. And from there, toe taps. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, toe tap. Exhale, reach the edge of the mat or even outside the mat. In front of it, good. Inhale, so the movement comes from the hips, not from the knee, yeah? Look, this is different. We're not doing this, we're not bending the leg. We're bringing the leg, there you go, in that 90 degree angle, we keep the angle at knee level, shoulders back and down. One more time each side. Stay. Now extend both legs up to the ceiling. There you go. Reach the ceiling, strong legs. Strong legs all the way up. Good, arms out. Now we're gonna do rotation, slow, small, very small and back to center. Inhale out, exhale. If you need, you can bend your legs. Otherwise, keep your legs extended. You can do this with legs bent. Exhale to the top. Inhale, one side. Exhale to the top. Or intermediate or, or advanced. If you do my classes every Thursday, you know they're not easy. And we try to challenge ourselves, right? So take the best option, the most challenging, but also, yeah, the safest and more achievable. One more time, each side, either easy or, there you go, challenging option, come back and stay, bend and flat. Feet, feet on the floor, put the feet on the floor, hands by the hips. Now feet slightly wider, there you go, as wide as the mat, yeah? So the feet are on the border of your mat. And arms, like zombie arms, imagine two uh, parallel lines, their hands are gonna stay shoulder width apart. Now we're gonna lift the head, neck and shoulders and hands out. They keep the same distance and come back, reach up, keep your shoulders off the floor, exhale and inhale back to center to ceiling, exhale and back up and if you need one hand behind the head, that's all right. And you imagine that hand, that arm, is still doing the vertical movement. So from the top, looks like this. Same distance. Imagine you have a stick or anything between the hands and you keep the same distance. And more into obliques, transversus abdominis, twisting muscles. Reaching up. Try to keep the shoulders and upper back off the floor. Focus on abdominals so you don't need the neck. Sometimes it hurts because we don't focus enough, strongly enough, on the abdominals. And we start yeah, using the neck to help the abdominals with the movement. So that's we need to change that to get not only strong, stronger core, but focus on the real muscles or the, or the muscles we really need to use. Last one, back to center, up to ceiling, stay, stay, stay. 
Now we're gonna pulse and reach the ceiling 10 times. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Up and hold, hold it up. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, and release. Feel it? Upper abdominals. Good. Now we're going to extend legs, lengthen the body, reach thumbs laced, lace your thumbs like this, palms to the ceiling, biceps pressing the head by the ears and temples, and bring your palms down. Well, not palms, the doors of the hand, the knuckles to the floor. There you go, reaching. Reaching, lengthening the body. Yeah. And release, enough. Rest. Was that rest? Yes. Good. Bridge, all the way into the bridge. Now, because, well, this, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do intermediate to advanced, right? Not too easy. I'm gonna show you the easy options anyway, but we go through them very quickly. Hands down, shoulders down, and let's go up and down without articulating the spine. A straight back and back down before you touch the floor with the bum. Exhale and lift, exhale. Use the glutes, the hammies, hamstrings, back muscles. Exhale, glute, lift up. Inhale, all right. Hips, steady hips. Now we're gonna continue the same movement, but this time push down because we one leg, is gonna extend up to the ceiling. Yes, this is the most challenging option. And intermediate is with one leg tabletop. Two options, three options. In easy, both feet on the floor. Intermediate, the one I'm doing. Advanced, the one Carolina is doing. She's the strong one. Couple more. Reach the ceiling with the toes. Last one up and hold. Now, that leg's extended leg or bent leg are gonna go out, inhale, exhale to the top. Steady hips. Don't let the hips twist. That's the idea. Inhale out, exhale. Square to the ceiling. Both hips at the same height. Find your pace. You don't need to follow anyone. Exhale. Once you know the exercise, just go at your own pace. Couple more times. Just one more. Exhale. Bend that leg. Lower the hips. You should feel that glute. Just one, because the other one wasn't working that hard or as hard as that one. Now extend, lift. And from there, extend or bend. Just lift. Knee on top of the hip. And inhale. And exhale. Yeah, where's the 90? Keep trying to do 90. Exhale, there you go. Down and up or fully extended leg. Steady hips. Hips square to the ceiling. You can push down with the hands. And what we want, the shoulders down on the mat. Opening the chest and pressing the floor with the shoulders. Good. Three more. Couple more. Just one more time, up and hold. Inhale, open, leg, exhale, up to ceiling. Inhale out, exhale. Plantar flexion, all the way. Look, the hips, steady. No matter how far the leg goes, the hips are steady. So if you, the hips start turning, you do smaller movements. Keep going. Inhale out, up to ceiling. Couple more. Just one more. Bend the leg, hips up, even higher, even higher. Use the glutes, back muscles. Stay there, clasp your fingers. Bring your shoulders closer together. 
open the chest even more, bring your belly in as you keep your hips going up higher, as high as you possibly can, and stay there five seconds. Four, higher. Three, push through the heels. Two, and release. Hands and hips down. Hug your legs, bring your legs in and rock side to side. Let's give the back a massage. All right, and recover. And this posterior chain work. Good, and time. All right. Now, we're gonna go facing down. We're gonna face that way and down, so you can do either way. I just prefer this side, so for some reason, I don't really know. <laughs> huh? Because of the camera? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, elbows below the shoulders, we're going to press up and lengthen and extend the back, shoulders back and down, long neck, yes, project that line from the tailbone going through the spine neck and through the crown of the head, diagonally to the front and top, but we still look in front to the floor, about one meter or so. All right, chest goes down to the floor, elbows out, 90 degree angle, arms, feet on the floor, they're gonna stick to the floor or to the mat. Now, on the exhalation, we lift, go down without touching the floor, with the arms, exhale, and release, exhale, lift, as high as you can, release, inhale, good, and slower, the slower the better, the slower the better, yeah, especially on the way down, we want that control, back, posterior chain, we're still working the same the steer chain we worked on the ridges, just slightly different. In this one, we use the help of gravity. So, there you go. We lift as high as possible. Couple more times. Last one, up and hold. Stay. Arms behind, fingertips pointing back. Delta wings, stay. Chest up, shoulders back and down, squeeze shoulder blades closer together, feet on the floor, anchor to the floor, lift the chest even more. Now we're gonna pulse and reach with the fingertips, reach back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. 5 seconds, 4, 3, Two, hands below the forehead, and rest. Ten folds, one side of the head, all resting on the hands. Now, we're gonna lift one leg at a time, exhale. Fully extended leg, and release all the leg, extend. Glutes lower back, exhale. And slowly release. Control the name of the game. You can look down if you want and put your forehead on the hands. Otherwise, there you go. Like me, maybe, there you go. I like, yes, looking to the side. Anyway, and if I can look at you, even better, right? Good. Now, both legs, if you're good to go, both legs and slowly down. Exhale without bending, yeah, good. Look at this, he's not this, he's not bending the legs. He's ex bring them up, fully extended, try and reach with the toes. And there you go, you feel those lower back muscles and those glutes. 
working hard to lift those legs. Keep it up one or two seconds and slow down. Maybe two seconds. That's a good time. And easy down, a couple more. Last one, up and hold. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Elbows out. And we're gonna lift the chest. Whoop. And the hands, arms, everything. Good. Nice arch. Belly and hips on the floor. Everything else off the floor. We can stay there a few seconds. Just five minutes. <laughs> can you? No, it's not gonna be five, six, five minutes. Stay a few more seconds. Stay nice and strong, reaching up. Reaching up higher, five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Higher. And release. Rest. And was below the shoulders again. This time, we're gonna extend the arms. You can stay there or come into this position with the arms fully extended, shoulders still away from ears, lengthening the spine and the neck. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. If you want more, you can walk your hands farther back and lift up slightly. You might need this today. Specifically today, I feel like I need a little more. Some days I just stay in the first position, just as we extend the arms from the Sphinx position. Today, my back is wants me a little more. Uh, same for you. Listen to your body, act accordingly. Give it what it needs. Sometimes, some days are different. Sometimes you need more, some days you need less. Just listen to it and release, come back down and press yourselves, the feet about hip width apart, toes on the floor. We're gonna press up. You can keep your knees on the floor or you can extend your legs and bring everything, exhale. Calm down, all the way, close to the floor, not all the way, very close to the floor, about 10 centimeters, maybe five, exhale, nothing touches the floor, maybe the knees, if you need an option, the knees are the ones touching the floor, everything else, if you need more or an easier option, you walk back and go down and press and you exhale. This is the easy one, too much for the wrists, for arms or any part of the body. You do the easier options. Want to challenge yourselves, elbows to ribs. Exhale, press. Couple more times. Straight body. One more time, down and hold. We hold it there. Hovering of the floor. Five seconds. Four. Three, inhale, and press up slowly. Knees down on the floor, nice and wide, and push yourselves back. Sit on the heels, then lower the chest, pushing back, push yourselves back. So the hips, the bum stays down on the heels. There you go. Bring your chest as close as possible to the floor. Now we're gonna cross one arm, perpendicular to the body, crossing below the opposite armpit, and press down, nice stretch. On the back side of the shoulder. Stay there a few seconds.
and change arms, other side, cross the other arm, and press down, chest to the floor. And release. All right, now we're gonna bring the shoulders above the hands and tuck toes in, bring the knees closer together to hip width apart. And now we're gonna lift the hips, extend the legs, and walk the hands back. Try and keep, keep your hands down on the floor and try not to extend your legs. If you need, you extend your legs. You bend your legs, sorry. Otherwise, keep them extended. Now, walk the hands again. Lower the hips to a straight line. And this time, the legs. We're gonna walk, keep you, the palm of your hands. Keep your legs fully extended, lift your hips. Walk in your hands, mobility. Until your toes touch the heel of the hand. <laughs> Hopefully you don't need, if you come to the movies and to stretching very often, you probably can touch the hand with the thing with the toes and keep your legs fully extended. That's good. Now we're gonna bend legs, release the hands and release the upper body fully and we start rolling up from the bottom to the top, one breath at a time, lower to mid back. Towards the upper back. All right, roll the shoulders back and down. Three times. Inhale. And exhale back down. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and one more time, last one. Back and down. Lace fingers behind the lower back. Pull back. Pull back. Can I borrow you, your mat? Yes. We can share the mat. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, pulling back, opening the chest, breathing deeply from beginning to the end. That's it, and release. Well done, guys. Remember, a great way to stay tuned with the latest news, videos, and everything about Fit FM, about me. Uh, is it through the social media platforms you're looking on the screen. You can join, it will be great to have you in all of them. And that's a huge thank you for coming, for joining me. I hope you're getting good results, something positive, something good for the mind, for the body, and uh, for your fitness. See you next time.